Hi, I'm Nancy from Lone Star College Sci Fair of Harris County Public Library. Today I'd like to tell you about a, another list of books. This list is created by a committee of librarians from the Cypress Fairbanks School District. It's a list of books recommended for children aged pre-K to grade two. It's called the Leaping Lizard List. There are 10 books on the list, so I'd like to read to you one of the books and then give you a brief summary of the nine others. The book I'm going to read to you today is called Rocket Says Look Up. It's by Nathan Bryan and illustrated by Dapo Adiola. Let's read. Every night before bed, I set up my telescope and wish upon a star. Mom tells me that I never stop looking up and my head is always floating in the clouds. But she can't tell me that I look up more than my big brother Jamal looks down at his silly phone. Jamal says I'm called Rocket because I've got fiery breath. But Mom says it's because a famous rocket blasted off into space the day I was born. All I know is that one day I'm going to be the greatest astronaut, star catcher, space walker who has ever lived, like Mae Jemison, the first African American woman in space. Did you know Mae Jemison went into orbit around Earth in the space shuttle Endeavor even though she is afraid of heights? I'm totally prepared. I've defied gravity, captured rare and exotic life forms, and built a ship to the stars. For today's mission, I'm going to see something incredible, the Phoenix Meteor Shower. I want everyone to see it with me, so I've made some flyers to hand out. Jamal is going to take me to the park to see the meteor shower, but first we have to go to the supermarket. While he is looking for the milk, I will be trying to find the astronaut food. Did you know meteor showers happen when Earth moves through the trail of dust left by a comet? Did you know most meteors are smaller than a grain of sand? Did you know meteors are bits of dust burning up in the atmosphere? Did you know the best time to see a meteor shower is when it's dark with no clouds? In the supermarket, when Kathy the cashier isn't looking, I grab the microphone. For one night only, come out and witness the amazing Phoenix meteor shower. And everyone looks up. Kathy takes her microphone back as I hand out my flyers to the other people in line. I think Jamal might be a tiny bit annoyed with me. The Phoenix Meteor Shower will be coming soon. We'd better drop off the shopping and get to the park fast. Look out! Haha, <laughs> that wouldn't have happened if you had just looked up. Now Jamal is even more annoyed with me, and he says he won't take me to the park anymore. But when we get home, Mom saves the day. Come on, Jamal, she says. Put the phone down and take your little sister to the park. Yes! I jump up and do my famous victory dance around the room. I grab my jetpack backpack, but Jamal is still glued to his game. Wait till I complete this level, Rocket, he grumbles. As we're about to leave, the doorbell rings. Wow! It's half the people from my street, and they're all holding my flyers. To the park, I yell at the top of my lungs. Everyone is so excited. My neck is aching from staring up into the night sky, but I won't stop. 
I can't miss it. Suddenly, the park goes silent. Even the birds are holding their breath. Everyone points their telescopes and binoculars up at the sky. Everyone but Jamal, who is still looking down at his phone. I think I see it, I shout. But it's just a plane flying overhead. Everyone moans and groans. We wait and wait and wait. One by one, people start to leave. Maybe the Phoenix meteor shower was a myth after all. Maybe that's why Jamal didn't want to come along. Maybe everyone is upset with me for wasting their time. I've never ever felt this sad before. Jamal looks at me for the first time today. It feels like the first time ever. I've turned off my phone, sis, he says. I'm sorry for making you wait for nothing, Jamal. Let's go home. Suddenly, there's a big bright light in the sky. Look up! The Phoenix meteor shower. I'm speechless, Jamal says. He pulls out his thermos and pours me a cup of hot chocolate. Yummy. We both sit down on the hill, watching meteors zoom across the sky. I'm so happy we looked up and saw them together. Did you know one day I'm going to have a meteor shower named after me? I'm sure glad Rocket and her brother Jamal got to see the meteor shower. I hope you liked this book. Now let's take a look at the other books on the Leaping Lizard list. Rocky doesn't listen or obey like all the other dogs. And Rocky hates her leash and doesn't seem to like other dogs. Could it be because Rocky is a cat? Find out when you read Bad Dog by Mike Bolt. Snack Attack by Terry Border. Although warned of the dangers lurking outside their packages, Cookie, Pretzel, and Cheese Doodle venture into the kitchen for fun, but soon discover that monster kids are real. Dandy by Aim Dykeman Although Sweetie is caring for the sole dandelion on Daddy's perfect lawn and has even named it Charlotte, Daddy, with his friends urging, does all he can to get rid of the weed before it spreads. Nobody Hugs a Cactus by Carter Goodrich. Hank, a cactus who is as prickly on the inside as he is on the outside, decides he wants a hug. An unruly gang of 16 geometric shapes gets tangled in the neighborhood jungle gym. Can their friend rescue them and restore order? Find out when you read Tangled by Anne Miranda. Croc and Turtle, Bestest Friends Ever by Mike Wanutka. Croc thinks he is the strongest. That is, until Elephant comes along. Croc thinks he can jump the highest until Rabbit comes along. Is Croc not the best at anything? His best friend, Turtle, has an idea. Jasper and Ollie by Alex Willen. Jasper, an impatient fox, and Ollie, a slow-moving sloth, head to the pool on a summer day, each taking their own unique path. Whose Nose Do You Suppose? by Richard Turner. This book shows illustrations of various animals in their natural habitat and invites you to guess which animal each nose belongs to. I Am Not a Fish by Peter Ramundo. 
Edgar the jellyfish joins a self-help group of starfish and learns to embrace what makes him unique.